he's got another example. Uh, the, and, he, and, and in this example, uh, he's talking about, well, let's just, I'll just read it. Right? Again, suppose we look up the word homme in a French dictionary, we shall find opposite to it the word man, which so placed represents homme as representing the same two-legged creature which man itself represents. Right? So that's the example, sort of this translation of the word homme to man. Right? We've got homme equals man. And then he says, by further accumulation of, insta of instances, it will be found that every comparison requires, besides the related thing, the ground and the correlate, also a mediating representation, which represents the relate to be a representation of the same correlate which this mediating representation itself represents. I know this is a little difficult, right? But basically, you know, what he's saying is that this mediating representation, which is sort of the dictionary entry, om equals man, is creating the relationship to man, and it's really the same relationship that om has to man. Right? So it's, it's, it's kind of, both of them have to be pointing in that same way, but this is the one that kind of creates the basis for that pointing, right? As opposed to pointing to some other word, right? It could be, you know, you pointed to cat or bird or something like that. It's, no, but it's pointing to man, and it's defining that relationship, right? And, and it's something that's here, it's clearly a kind of arbitrary thing, right? I mean, uh, again, he's using a linguistic example. So it's, I think it's important. I mean, he doesn't really point to this issue, but all of his three examples of how, what he calls the interpretant. So this mediating representation he calls the interpretant. They're all linguistic examples. The P and the B, then the murderer, and then now the, the um and man. These are all language, language, human language examples, right? And so what we've got here, we've got these four pieces that exist in every, in every comparison, right? So we've got the related thing, we've got the correlate, we've got the ground, the quality, the shared quality um, of the comparisons is the reference to here to a particular meaning to this, to man, right? And then we've got the interpretant. So the interpretant is, so even if, even if the related thing and the correlate, they have a shared quality, the interpretant is, defining it the way in which they share that quality, right? 